Uh, so this is presenting Slicer, uh, a small tool for generating spacing tokens. Um, for folks that have been around the industry for a long time, uh, might remember uh, tools like this for typography. So setting up uh, kind of font sizes that are related to each other uh, using different ratios. Um, so I've been playing around with this type of concept for um, a couple projects and decided to kind of uh, combine all of those uh, ideas into a, a tool everybody can use. And uh, the outcome of uh, that sprint is a slicer. So I just uh, created this today. Um, and uh, essentially uh, the way slicer works is you can pick two numbers that are in your um, uh, design system. So let's say, uh, you know, we want some kind of font size or, or, or uh, a, a padding that's very common, you know, maybe like uh, 15 or something like that. And then a different number might be your full grid size. So, you know, maybe you're trying to go for like 1150. Uh, and then uh, Slicer gives you kind of uh, ways to cut that up in a way that is, uh, so let, let's just play around with it a little bit. So um, if you go to the minimum number of slices, it, it allows us four. Uh, so it's like the, it, it can give you a unit system where, you know, 15 pixels is in it, 1150 is in it. These are the two numbers that you put in and then a few numbers in between. So there's kind of an optimal kind of midway point where you get enough spacing tokens uh, where nudging becomes very fun and easy and gives you a lot of options. Um, and then there's too few tokens and then too many tokens where you're just kind of densely populating the, you know, every pixel can just be, you might as well not have this um, uh, spacing system at all. So uh, yeah, so you can put in different uh, values here and get a um, output in pixels. There's also options to uh, change like what kind of units you want, uh, what strings you want to have. And then uh, the way I, usually use this in, is in the rem mode with a base font size of 10. So you might have, you might have seen these types of outputs uh, in, in the larger design systems. Uh, and, and one uh, kind of thing you can do with this is uh, take these units and paste them into a project that uses Tailwind. Um, and then I have a little expansion here, which gives you all of the Tailwind um, utilities, or all the common ones at least. And you can paste it in, and then so it's pretty extreme, but um, you can basically modify uh, a Tailwind setup uh, with uh, more or fewer spacing tokens. Um, just by kind of modifying this and then grab, probably want more slices, grabbing these units and, you know, playing around with it in here. So, yep, this is more plausible. Um, that's about it. Uh, it's deployed on uh, actually team.pizza slash slicer. So if you'd like to play with it, uh, you can, uh, and that was kind of my goal was to make something small and uh, easy to use by the end of the day. So, that's it. Really cool. 